Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Riley's here too. So, it's been a couple weeks, guys, since I have last filmed a video. And I have some exciting um, news. This video is a surprise to you guys. I did not want to tell you. Um, but, in this video, I have something that I'm bringing back to the channel. You guys may remember. So, um, we are going to be unboxing the boxy charm base box together um yeah so bringing this back to the channel i hope this is still as good as i remember it being um but yeah if you guys are new to my channel my name is Lainey and welcome to my channel let's go ahead and get started Alright, so do not mind my appearance. I literally just got home from work and um, it is storming outside. So if you hear um, any kind of rumbling outside, it is because of the storm. Um, we had horrible tornadoes here um, yesterday. Um, so we're just dealing with some storms right now. And yeah, but anyways, so it has been... I'm trying to think of the last time I've gotten a boxy charm, which I think that was back in July of 2021. So it has been at least seven months. No, longer than that. I'm sorry. Almost a year. Almost a year since I have gotten a boxy charm. So we're going to see how good or how bad this box has gotten because I have heard that Ipsy bought out boxy charm. So. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm going to reveal to you guys what it looks like. I have not opened this yet. Um, trying to open it without dropping everything. Here is what's inside. First up, it smells really, really good in this box. So here is the card. It is Game Changer. Um, Celebrating Game Changers and Boss Babes in honor of Women's History Month. And then these are the products on the back here. So, let's get into the products. Alright, so first up I have, this is from Corez. This is their Velvet Skin Drink. It has like this pretty thing on the side here. Let's open this up. I'm not going to say how much it is, but I'm going to read what this is. So it says, it's to transform your skin to velvet with a single drop of, a mul of the multitasking treatment that blurs imperfections, smooths texture, and replenishes skin and with awakened hydration. I need hydration. Um, I do have a lot of texture on my skin because um, I picked my acne scars. But this is the packaging right here. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is so cute. So this is our first product. All right, this next one is the Perfect Duel. This is the Quick Beat versus Base. Okay, so this is a makeup sponge and a brush, I'm thinking. This is, I'm guessing that's the brand, what it's called. I don't know. All right, so here is the brush. Very, very small. It feels, feels okay. I'm guessing it's supposed to feel like that because it's a foundation brush. Um, and then, oh, it's called Mini Base. That's why. That's why. Duh. Okay, I'm trying to get the sponge out. This is the sponge. And it already feels kind of soft from the outside packaging. Oh yeah, it's a little hard, it's a little hard, kind of hard to squish, but I'm sure once you wet it and dampen it, it gets softer and bigger, but this little set is cute. Also what I'm doing is I am going to just review the products first and then I will go over how much they cost at the end. Alright, the next item we have in here, this is from Frank Body, this is the Vi Brightening vitamin C mask looks like this let's see um, it says this is an active brightening vitamin C mask with that multitasks natural and cruelty free um, 
It's packaged with vitamin C rich cocadu plum to reveal your bright your brightest clear skin. It dissolves your top layer of dead, dull, damaged skin with papaya and pineapple extract along with lilac, sorry, lactic, um, glycolic and salicylic acids. Hope I said that right. Um, it's got more than one move. Use use the vitamin C for acne, hyperpigmentation, scarring, and fine lines. You don't need that overpriced serum or that beauty filter. Oh, okay, she got it. True Doctor toy. So we're gonna open this up together. Oh, okay. That's what she looks like. Just a cute little thick bottle. All right, next up is from Persona. Oh my gosh, I've never had a Persona item. So this is their lip liner, and it's in the shade 90210. <laughs> All right, so let's open this. This is so pretty. So that is the color right there. Looks absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to use it. This next thing is the Coconut and Fig Hair Mask by Style Dry. Mm, I'm not a coconut fan. Oh, I can definitely smell the coconut, but let's read on this one. So this, this super mask is enriched with coconut oil and marumu. I don't know. Butter for healthy, hydrated, and glossy hair. It's the must-have hair mask to nourish your hair deeply and give you the ultimate treatment at home. Your hair will be moisturized, silky, and shiny as never before. This is really, really cute. And last but not least, I'm seeing a palette from Beauty Bakery. This is the um, Bed and Breakfast Eyeshadow Palette. So, let's see. I've never had a Beauty Bakery eyeshadow palette either I have their their powder but that's it if I can get it out of the packaging all right so here is the front okay okay not my not shades that I was a hundred percent thinking but I think it's a really cute palette all right so my opinions on the box it's definitely more skincare than than makeup and I honestly don't like boxes like that but being that this is my first box back I am not disappointed in this there were a bunch of new skincare stuff that I sh that I really want to try um, and hair stuff and a little bit of makeup so there was a little bit of everything but there was more skincare than anything so um, we are going to go over the pricings and then we will calculate everything up all right, so first up, the Carez, um Great Velvet Skin Drink. This guy is $48. The Persona Lip Liner is $14. Okay, so the name of this brand is Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics. So this guy right here retails for $30. The Frank Body Brightening Vitamin C Mask is $19.95. The... Style Dry is $16.95. And guys, this palette isn't even on the list. Maybe I got a free item. Okay, we're going to calculate up everything. Um, I'm going to give you guys the estimate of what is in my box. I also need to find out how much that Beauty Bakery breakfast and bed palette is. Because even though it's not counted on here, it's still in the box. So I still wanted to kind of count it. Okay, so the palette on Beauty Bakery's website, there is a thirty-eight down there. See, thirty-eight dollars. So we're gonna re we're gonna count it in as thirty-eight dollars. All right. So calculating everything up now. Um, let's see, thirty-eight dollars for the palette. Forty-eight dollars for the Crez thing. It's already over what the box what I pay for the box. The lip liner was 14. The foundation travel set was 30. Um, the 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 Frank Body Brightening Vitamin C Mask, 19.95. 
and the Style Dry hair mask was $16.95. So that's $166.90, which is really, really not bad, but then you take away the $38 and you have $128. So I'm thinking that's why they added another product in there because usually these boxes retail between 175 and up and that wouldn't have been there but it still didn't reach the 175 point but honestly I am not disappointed in this box at all. So I guess I would rank this box, I would rank it maybe a 7. Um, just because I would really like to see more makeup products in here. Like, I am excited about the Beauty Bakery palette. I'm excited about the lip liner. These are two really, really good name brands. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this palette back in here. Um, these two brands are really, really good known. Um, but like the... Never heard of this brand. I've never heard... I've heard of Carez. I have. Um, and I have never heard of these two brands, so I'm excited to give those a try, but I would give this box a seven just because, you know, I would like to see more makeup than skincare and hair care. But, um, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was really nice chatting with you guys. Um, it's been a little while. I promise I'll be on here soon to give you guys a life update and what's been going on with me. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.